Hey everyone, today we're going over some new features shipped with PCF 2.4. We're going to take a look at the CF Linux FS3 stack, internal domains, and a new beta feature, zero downtime deployments. Before we bring up a couple demos, let's first look at what the CF Linux FS3 stack is. Now for many Cloud Foundry users, the stack is something that's been completely transparent and probably will continue to be. But for others, especially those that are operations and security minded, it's a very important piece of the platform. The stack provides a pre-built root file system that the build pack and application are layered on top of, and it's regularly updated with each Cloud Foundry release with the latest fixes and security patches at the OS level. The previous stack, CF Linux FS2, was built from Ubuntu 14.04, a long-term support version of the OS. However, as LTS versions of Ubuntu are supported for five years, we're reaching the end of that timeline. CF Linux FS3 delivers a new stack built on top of Ubuntu 18.04, with planned support all the way out to the year 2023. While this stack was made available in PCF 2.3, in 2.4 we're making this the default stack used to make the transition as seamless as possible. Now let's take a look at some of these features in action. To show them off, we have our fortune teller demo on the left, automatically refreshing every second. It's a fairly traditional two-tier application with our web front end sending requests to a REST API backend, both running on PCF 2.4. We have three instances of each running, but no route to our backend. We could set up a normal route on the same domain or maybe have a domain that isn't exposed to the internet, but this is a great opportunity to use an internal domain and have our front end talk directly to our backend. By default, 2.4 will have one created named apps.internal, but you can of course create your own. We'll map a new route using the internal domain to our backend, giving it the route fortunetellerserver.apps.internal. Normally, this is where we'd have to restart our app and incur downtime or do a blue-green deployment, but we'll use a new beta feature in 2.4, a zero downtime restart. Our front end also knows to look for a user provided service to know the location of our API. So we'll go ahead and create one and bind it to the web app. We can see our app continues to serve requests while doing a rolling restart on each instance. Finally, we'll have to allow our front end to talk directly to our backend. So we'll create a network policy and soon after see our application start to serve up our fortunes. Now, the same work that was done in 2.4 to enable zero downtime restarts can also be used to do a zero downtime push. For example, if we want to upgrade our application to use the new CF Linux FS3 stack, there's really no good way to do an in-place upgrade since we're completely replacing the root file system and rebuilding and redeploying the container image. Just like how we did a rolling restart of our application earlier though, we can do a rolling upgrade using the zero downtime push command and specify that we want to use the new stack. We'll see that our app stays up and serving our requests and eventually all instances will show that we're using the new stack. This was just a quick highlight of a few great features shipped with PCF 2.4, but there's a whole lot more that we didn't mention. Make sure to check out the patch notes for a complete list of features, fixes, and security patches. We'll see you next time.